Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to board the password generator that we showed earlier on before we went on to go through how to use and how to build a web application in Julia. So this is what we built earlier on. So we're trying to see how to build a simple application. So in case you have not checked, you can check the links below for this video. So now let's see how to build a password generator. So I'll go back again to my app and I've cleared off the old one and I've stored it inside this one here, the password app version one, right? So this is the previous one we did. Now let's see how to build it. So we're going to import our packages, oxygen, HTTP and mustache. So mustache is going to be used to render our test, like our like templating engine sort of and then http for http request and then also is the framework we are working on we created two functions so this function is going to help us to render our http no to render our html in case we have a contest using mustache right which we saw earlier on in the previous tutorial something like how to render in julia uh, in django with ginger or in flask with ginger then we have another function called generate password which creates an empty variable. Then we are going to supply the particular length of password we want to generate. We are going to randomly select all alphabets, uppercase, lowercase, all numbers, and then some special character. So this is union in Julia, right? Union, out of the post. And then whatever character we're going to generate, we're going to append it and then continue like that. So this is our generate function and then let's start so this is how to create a route as we saw earlier on very basic and then this is the post we are saving on so let me save this one and then let's run our app so it's going to be julia then app julia right we can also since you're already inside the virtual environment which you created earlier on and because you have this and this we can simply go with julia dash dash project app.jl so this is going to use the virtual environment you created coming from these ones to run our app as you can see our app is opening perfectly well which is here right so this is for the swagger and this is the basic one if i go back here and i refresh so let's go back this is the password if i refresh it you're going to see that we have the hello julia if i go back here You can see that we have the hello Julia web, which is this test. Now let's build our password, right? So what I will do is at first, I'm going to go back here and then create my HTML file. So let's go just generate password.html. Then inside here, I'm going to create my template. So let's make it bigger. What I'll do is just go back with HTML5, perfect. And then let's create my div, which is going to be class container. And then this is going to go with my session. And the session will have an article. Perfect, right. And inside my article, I'm going to create my form. And the, the form, form is going, going to have a method, method called get it can be a post by using it, it. And, and the form is also going, going to have some input stuff perfect right so my input test, test and then i'll specify that i want, want to have a phrase i want to work on it's also going to have another one for the length so number you can put as length or number this is going to be a number you can call it as a Length number. Yeah, something like that. Or number. Right, or freeze length or whatever we call it. So. Something like that. The password length. Something, something like that. And then let's put in my button. You all need a button. 
Si ça met. C'est ça Ça la met. Let's call ça generate. Cause c'est pas un generator. Perfect. So we have created something very simple. Now we, we anytime somebody types in something inside our form, we will be attaching it per the respective place to this and to this. Then we then get to send it to a particular route. So let's call this one as generate route. So we have to create this route. So I'll go back again to the backend. And then I'm going to create the route using the same thing. Call it as generate. And I'm going to return something different, right? So we want to return render HTML. So the render HTML is coming from our function here, which created, which is not part of Oxygen. But in case you want, we can add it to it. And then I'm going to pass in the generate password file. We also want to receive things from the front end and pass it back, right? So we also want to create a form request. So we have our phrase. And as we say, I want to get it, we can just go with, well, we can call this form data, which is going to be my query params. It takes in the request. And this is going to go with my get function because the forms is a dictionary sort of so i need to get from the form a particular phrase right and then we need to specify a default so what you are doing is that this phrase is coming from our form input name here right and then we also need to do the same thing for the password right so i'll go back again then we need to create one called password Lent, which is going to be get the form data then i want to pass in the password length and let's give it a default number of zero then now let's generate our password to generate the password we can call it as my password that has been generated which is going to be my generate password and this one takes in the length. It takes in this password length. But we need to pass the password length into an integer, or do it a number. So we call this password length, right? And then we can now get our result, which is going to be my dictionary. No, it's going to be, let's join them. I want to join the phrase and then the password without anything and now we can return it as our contest so now our contest is going to be it's going to be our contest selectionary and this one is going to take in my so it's the phrase which we will pass it as phrase and then the result we will pass it as result perfect so we have created our simple form so this is how to get it from the front end and this is how to send it to the front end from the back end right so we have to go back and create this dictionary here so i'll go back here we have my session here then hr let's create another session inside this session i'll create an article and this article i'm going to create in let's say h2 right and we can call it as your phrase was the phrase and then we can now specify the, the password so p tag results so let's save it so if the person typing something here we are sending via get to this endpoint 
and this endpoint is here which is going to take those form data generate the password and send it to the user so let's rerun it here so i'll stop this one because you have to stop it for it to recompile the changes in the back end hopefully there's no mistake <laughs> okay now let's go back so this is working as expected so let's move on to the endpoint which is generate hopefully it doesn't fail so the server encountered a, a, an error sometimes the reason it fails is because of some typos or some pre-compilation pre errors so let's check it go back to the top of our file and it's saying that no method matching type int int right so the reason sometimes it fails is because we are converting an integer to an integer which is not possible so the closest candidate is a, an abstract string name so what we will do is that we are converting this this comes as a number already right and then we are also converting it again after you have received it from the form you're also converting it again as a number so that's why it's failing and the reason it's failing again is not only that but because the default is also uh, zero so if i change this one it is not going to fail because the default is not zero the default is not zero the default is a string right so let's stop rerun hopefully i'm right <laughs> Okay, so let's rerun it. If I refresh. Mm, let's see. Let's check it out. For the arrow. Okay, so the input string is empty all it contains white space right so this is empty or it contains white space let's put it zero <laughs> so if you find a better way you can let me know yeah perfect it's working right so because it's now a string we have been able to pass it so now i can just pass in a term like great and then i can just pass in let's say 40. If i click on generate so the value have been passed there and our password have been generated hooray we have created our app now let's make it look nicer this is not nice so we can make it look nicer by going to pico css which is a minimum css you don't need to do anything very simple go to getting started let's use you can download it but let's use the cdn so i'll copy this cdn and then i'll go to my index.html file before my title i will want to paste it here and that is all so now if i refresh voila <laughs> that is so cool right i did not do anything to it just the normal stuff and we can make this one better because this is not good we can go back to here let's, let's do, do it this way. way this, this is, is too big, big. So, so how do you make, make it smaller we, we can simply change it using the grid, grid. So there is a grid option which we can use to make our work more simple right so in that case it's going to be instead of the form like this that we have here we can also use a, a grid right to we can change the form from the class let's go to grid If I refresh, it looks the same, but we can now specify some stuff. Let's see. So now it's smaller, right? 
this is correct too. Just change. After what we have ATA, we can now place in the placeholder and stuff. So we can place in the placeholder. So let's go to the phrase. And then yeah. And we can also go the area, the area. Label, same thing. If I save it and I refresh it better, we can also repeat it for the other one. So this is going to be password length. Save it, refresh. Perfect. This is quite cool, right? Out of the box, we have gotten all of this because of Pico. <laughs> we have even gotten this out of the box. I did not do anything <laughs> because automatically understands it. That's why I like this package, right? Don't need to do a lot of things. Out of the box, we have this. You can easily make this one an accordion by just going with this. The result, you can make it an accordion by simply think the accordion is just detail or something yeah I think the accordion is this so I can just go with my detail then summary that is all so this alone if I paste this one here summary so let's call this my result. Yeah, result. And then I'll go with my PTAC under, right? So if I refresh it, so it's gone. If I click on it, <laughs> out of the box. Oh, Pico is so cool. So you have seen how to build a very simple app. So thanks. And then 7 7 generate. We have your time was thanks and then if i click on this we have our password right very cool so thank you for watching this tutorial so the basic idea behind working with oxygen to create a simple password generator is this we can now we just import oxygen http and mustache you can use this function i'll leave the code below and i hope maybe uh, the guy the owner of oxygen may add it to it to help with the package and then we can now generate the password with a simple function created a simple route and then we created a simple form right to receive the data and to generate the password so thank you for watching this tutorial see you another time in case you have any question or contribution you can put it in the comments below and as always you know we can also get the swagger here if i refresh it so we have the swagger after the bust right very cool okay so thank you for watching See you on time. Take care. Jesus saves.